Greetings sailors and welcome back to World of Warships and it's a view replay for a change. I don't get through nearly as many of these as I would like just because I play more warships than tanks myself these days so I have more replays of my own available for the game. But in this case uh, it's a ship I don't have, it's a ship I've only showed once before and although I think I've had probably more than the fair share of destroyer games recently I decided to go with yet another destroyer game because like I said, it's one I've only showed once before on the channel, and that was quite a long time ago. And it's also a viewer who sent me a bunch of replays uh, in the time I've been uh, showing World of Warships replays. Uh, but I've never featured him before, even though I've at least given him a mention in one previous video. So this is Fog Battleship N Carolina, and I'm, I'm going to guess he's a, a fan of uh, the uh, Arpeggio of Blue Steel anime with a, a name like that. And he's actually, well, I've already said he's in the Mayhan, but uh, it makes a change from where you might have seen him before, because he has had replays featured on other channels, but as far as I can tell, the only ones he's had featured on other channels have all been Battleship games, and that's because the Battleship games he tends to send people are usually absurdly high damage. So he's, he's had a, a, a Grosser uh, Kurfürst game that was like over 300k damage, and there's uh, another Yamato game that's over 300k damage. And stuff like that so uh, maybe you know it'd be a nice change for him to get featured for something other than a, a battleship for a change. So the Mayhan is uh, it's not a ship I have myself yet I'm on the Farragut at the moment though so the Mayhan is obviously the, the next stop after that uh, but yeah this is the first of the American destroyers that can make stealth torpedo drops it gets 9.2 kilometer torpedoes but they're still quite slow torpedoes because they are American torps so, although he is going to get to use his torpedoes a bit in this game, this is maybe more a typically American destroyer game in that he's going to use his guns quite a lot. It's also a fairly short game. I've cut one or two bits out. I cut off the first two minutes or so uh, when they were all sailing into position, and then there's about another two minutes I took out later on. Uh, so, I've managed to make it, you know, sub 10 minutes just about in terms of the actual gameplay footage, but he's going to get to do quite a lot of damage in that time. And I suspect that on this captain, he quite probably has Demo Expert. Because of course, this being an American destroyer, it gets a very good rate of fire. The American destroyers generally have the best rates of fire in the game. Although, uh, as you'll have seen if you watched that, uh, that Japanese uh, uh, preview uh, video, the uh, Akizuki will, at tier 8, at least have an even better rate of fire than the Benson. It's going to have a, a, a crazy good 3 second reload. But the, uh, the turret turn time won't be quite American levels, because that's the other thing about the American destroyers, is the turrets turn exceptionally quickly. So it's going to smoke up, which is not really shown in the replay, and this is... Uh, I guess a replay bug for uh, 9.8, which is uh, not 9.8, 5.8 even, which is when this replay is from. And uh, that's another thing I was going to mention actually. Um, just looking at this, you know, this is not that many months ago, July to November, however many months that is. I could try and do it in my head, but it wouldn't go well. Uh, <laughs> numbers, numbers, my old nemesis. But uh, yeah, just in that time the quality of uh, the replay system has improved a lot, they've fixed a lot of things. And even just in the latest patch, uh, the new anti-aliasing option does make a, a big difference, it makes things look much nicer, which you'll have noticed when you look at the uh, the, the wires. The I want to call it the rigging, but I don't know if it counts as rigging. But uh, yeah, all of the, the wires, which are presumably part of the, uh, the, the radio transmitter on this ship, the jaggies are quite noticeable, but uh, it's much, much improved with the new AA system. However, of course, replays are still technically, officially, you know, a, a, like a, a beta feature. I don't know what to call them. They're not quite officially supported. You still have to go and tinker with a text file to turn your replays on. Why there isn't at this point with the fact that the replays are now... I would say almost on a par, if not on a par, with what we have in World of Tanks. Not an officially supported feature, apparently. Um, I don't know, go figure. So, nice set of torpedo hits there, that's given him a big chunk of damage. 
And only one flooding, though. So he's not going to get the ticking flood damage because that guy had his uh, repair available. And it maybe was a bit of a, you know, it, it was giving his position away, sitting and firing from the smoke, but the Imagi drove past broadside anyway. It wasn't like he smoked up while the torpedoes were in the water. Because that's a, like, if you're a smart battleship captain, if you see a cloud of smoke suddenly appear somewhere nearby, then you can probably guess there are going to be torpedoes coming from it. So if you want to maintain the uh, element of surprise, generally you don't drop smoke unless you absolutely have to. But in this case, the Amagi just kept sailing more or less broadside until it was too late anyway. So, um, yeah, that was uh, <laughs> that was that rate of fire in action. That was fairly brutal, and he got the uh, the kill. Uh, he also had multiple fires going on that guy, so uh, he would have gotten the... Even though he didn't get the outright kill, you know, four torpedoes in a Japanese destroyer would probably have done a lot more damage than that, but the American torpedoes, in addition to being slower, tend to do a bit less damage tier per tier. Although that's probably not quite so true at tier 9 or 10, but uh, yeah, it, it didn't really matter. He was just able to absolutely punish that guy. He's also in with a crowd of his allies, and that makes a huge difference when you're in a gunboat destroyer, because if there's a chance that you might get focused, then obviously that's pretty dangerous. But if you're in amongst a, cl a, a, a crowd of allies, I almost said a cloud of allies there, that would have made sense, um, then there's at least a chance they will be shooting at other people than yourself. Now, there's at least one Cleveland shooting at him right now, but it's only one. If all of these ships were shooting at him, he'd be pretty screwed. So he smokes up again, he's got more torpedoes out. There's actually a couple more ships shooting at him now, I think that's both Clevelands. Uh, the, uh, the North Carolina there is just going for it, and uh, he ends up being rather surprised that he lives through this. And there we go, gets the kill with torpedoes this time. Five torp hits, way more floodings as well, but that was enough to outright kill the guy. But he's now in easily in range of multiple ships with his gun, so he can just sit here in the smoke and pummel these guys while the North Carolina attacks the damage. Now that North Carolina, I think he's going to survive. He is going to survive this, surprisingly. Uh, and there we go, as a witherer. <laughs> That's not bad. Um, yeah, they've just absolutely dominated this end of the map. And it maybe highlights some of the play, uh, the playstyle difference between Japanese and American destroyers in particular. Because the Japanese destroyers, quite often it's tempting to... You're either sailing off ahead of your, your allies to spot, maybe drop some torpedoes, or else you, you can kind of lone wolf it a bit. You can try and sneak around a flank, start dropping torpedoes from an unexpected angle. Although that can go wrong. You might end up getting boxed in if you do that. Whereas, what... Um, uh, NC has been doing is uh, it's just sticking with his allies and using his guns, smoking up at uh, strategic times, and it has worked out beautifully. He's sitting now on 150k damage. It's going to get to do a tiny bit more, but we've jumped forward like two minutes. Um, there's only a couple remaining enemy ships. They do have two cap circles, but his team is so far ahead on points that uh, it, it's, it's an easy victory at this point. So he just opens up to get a little bit more damage, and he does get a little bit more damage, but his torpedoes aren't going to make it, so basically they win on points. So that was 154k damage in the end. He had Witherer, a Devastating Strike, and a High Caliber, 9 torpedo hits, but the bulk of his damage is not going to be from those torpedoes, as we shall see. His efforts put him uh, well ahead of everybody else, 2,600 base XP, that's double the next player on his team, which was also a Mayhan, as it turned out. And uh, if we can look at the uh, the breakdown of damage, 56k from the torpedoes, 35k, no, 36 from the guns, 62k just about from fires. I mean, the, the combined total, he had like 700, less than 1,000 damage from the flooding, so it really was the fires that absolutely uh, did the, you know, they, they were so effective. And this is why um, fire chance, um, having extra fire chance on your guns and having that rate of fire uh, really can add up to something quite lethal. Because even if you have a comparatively low fire chance per shell, which by default the American destroyers do, it's like 5% fire chance, just the sheer number of shells you can put out is what makes it so dangerous and that's you know what was the case in that game 
So there we are, uh, a nice, fairly quick, high damage destroyer game, and it wasn't all about torpedoes for a change. Um, I'm quite looking forward to the Mayhem myself. I haven't actually been actively grinding the, uh, the uh, Farragut for a while. I've more been concentrating on other lines. But, uh, I don't know, having seen this game, it's maybe slightly reinvigorated my interest. I might have to be a bit more active about getting the dailies for it from now on. So anyway, hopefully you have enjoyed this game, and if you have, you can hit the like button, you can leave any comments below, you can sub to my channel if you haven't already, and as always, stay tuned for more.